Let's prepare to solve this problem. Now this is a problem about a weather balloon, okay? And as the weather balloon rises, the pressure changes and the temperature changes. So it starts out lower in the atmosphere and it's got some initial volume, okay? We're told its initial volume is 4.0 cubic meters, okay? We're told its initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, but of course we're going to need that in Kelvin, so we're going to turn that into 293 Kelvin. And then it rises to the atmosphere. Now as it rises, the balloon gets bigger, and we expect that, because as the balloon rises, we know the pressure decreases with elevation, and so we expect the balloon to expand, and in fact it does, and it rises to a final volume of 12 cubic meters, and as it rises, the temperature changes as well. So the final temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius, but again, we're going to need that in Kelvin, so that's 263 Kelvin. So this is the setup. The balloon rises from here to here. As it rises, the volume increases, the temperature decreases. We know the initial pressure. The initial pressure is 1.0 atmospheres, okay? And that makes sense. We're going to assume that the pressure starts near the surface of the Earth. And the question is this, what is the final pressure when it reaches its highest point? We want to know what that is. And so this is a classic gas law problem. And so to solve it, we can just use this. Pi times Vi over Ti is equal to Pf times Vf over Tf. So the solution it's pretty straightforward. We know the initial pressure, we know the initial pr temperature, we know the initial volume, we know the final volume, we know the final temperature. I'm looking for the final pressure. I can just rearrange this relationship. I'll rewrite it this way. The final pressure is just equal to the initial pressure times Vi over Vf and then times Tf over Ti. And I know each of these values. I know the initial pressure. I know the initial temperature. I know the initial volume. I know the final volume. I know the final temperature. And so I can put numbers in here. And if I do that, here's what I get. I get 0 0.30 atmospheres. And we can stay with that because the pressure was given in atmospheres at the start, and we're going to return it in the same units. Then let's do our assessment. Well, my assessment is this. It goes from 4 cubic meters to 12 cubic meters, so the volume approximately triples. Okay, if the temperature didn't change, I would expect the pressure to go down by about a factor of 3, because the volume increases, the pressure should decrease by about a factor of 3. And in fact, the temperature goes from 20 degrees Celsius to negative 10 degrees Celsius. If you're talking about what kind of coat you need to wear, this is a big change. But look at the Kelvin change, 293 to 263. It's actually a very modest change. So I expect the pressure to drop by about a factor of three, and in fact that it does. And then also, as the balloon rises, we know that it's rising to higher levels of the atmosphere, where we expect the pressure to be lower. Pressure is lower near the surface, our pressure is higher near the surface. It's 1.0 atmospheres up at the surface. It's lower further up. So we expect as the balloon rises, it goes to a region of decreasing pressure. That's in fact what we find. And so our answer matches with the way we know the world works.